Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm in a house. We're in my mum's house in Cornwall. And today we're gonna to be filming something a bit different. We're gonna answer some of your burning questions that you've been sending us. I've woken up with a really puffy eye. Morning. <laughs> we're back home. We're back here in Cornwall and it's been an amazing opportunity to see some friends and family, but also to do some work on the van. We've had to put our van through its MOT, which 370 pounds later, it has now passed. And we are now ready to go back into the van. Next week, we'll be heading off on our next big adventure. We thought it'd be a good opportunity to answer some of the burning questions that you guys have been sending us. Thanks so much to all of the ones you sent. Question number one, does having a strong home family life make traveling easier? Yeah, definitely, 100%. We're so lucky. We both have really big, loving families and I love coming back and seeing everybody. We are also super lucky that we have my mum's house here where we can come and stay. We have been back for about two weeks now. It's always nice to come back and to have this space where we know we can come and get a bit of a break from the van. I do find it always a little bit weird coming back because we do come back for quite short periods of time. And in that time, we try and see as many people as we can. It ends up being quite rushed. We're trying to rush around and see everyone. It is really nice. It just, it can be a bit full on. It's also so much easier to do work on the van when we're not living in it back here. So we've been doing a little bit of DIY on her this week. Oh my God, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> I'm picking up some pajamas. <laughs> Ah, got some new bikinis guys. We're going to a hot place. I can't wait. We haven't really completely moved into the house with all of our stuff. I've just been doing loads of washing. So I'm going to move all of that back into the van today. Let's see if it all fits. We might have to donate some to charity. Question number two is a soppy one. So I'm going to let you do this because uh, I, I always give a short answer <laughs> and you like to drag it out. How do we meet? Oh guys, we met when we were in school. So we both went to the same school and Tom's brother is in my year, my sister is in Tom's year. So we knew of each other, but not too well. I remember so well when I got the text from Tom saying, I hope it's all right, I got your number from Jake. And I remember I was walking down the street, I remember exactly where I was and I squealed it so I was so fat, I couldn't believe it. Tom Goldman had messaged me. Could not believe it. And then we dated in that summer. We had a whirlwind romance when I was like, in sixth 18, form, about yeah. 18. Then we actually went our separate ways. Tom went traveling to Australia. I went to uni, then Tom went to uni. So we were apart for four years. But guys, there's always a little piece of my heart for Tom. I loved him dearly. And we thought, if we're still thinking about each other, still meeting up whenever we're back, I think it's a sign that we so, need to be together. Yeah, so that's a long, that's a long <laughs> answer. We love each other very much right, now. Right, you get packing. <laughs> Loads of washing. Yep, that's right guys, our sliding door opens. Yay, Tom fixed it. The little tire on the roller had come off. It meant the, light, the door was not aligned anymore and the lock wouldn't work properly. I have put a new roller in and it seems to be working. The only problem is at the moment, the central locking beeps when you press it. Uh, I don't know what that is and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it. Right. Let's put all this stuff away. Let's put all this stuff away. My stuff's down there. Oh, yeah. Right. Maybe just do it together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, the next question is, what's the hardest thing about living in the van? For me, I miss the routine. I miss being able to work out, have showers, and see friends and family on a routine basis. I find that, like, I really miss that, and that, that sense of, community around you that you have when you have a base. Not being around your friends and family, not being able to see people, that is the toughest part, really. I don't feel as independent when we live in the van because we do everything together. Whereas if you lived in a house, one of you could drive off and go off on your own day out kind of thing. We've timed our trip back to uh, home pretty well. Uh, yesterday, my sister actually gave birth. So I've got another niece in the family and uh, hopefully we're gonna get to see her before we head off. Next question, why do we live in a van? There's obviously our negatives to living in a van, but there are amazing positives that come with it. We don't pay any rent, we don't pay a mortgage. We don't have to earn very much money. So we don't earn much and we don't spend much. And that's yeah. sort of, it frees us up to spend more time together, spend more time in nature and doing what we want to do. I feel like time is way more precious than money and I'd rather have more free time and less money. All the traveling that we do do 
in the van is like we would not be able to afford to do nearly any of that traveling if we weren't in the van like just paying for accommodation is a huge expense the van is looking lovely at the moment though is has been sprucing up she's painted oh on a hill she's painted the, all the panels on the doors and it's just looking nice and clean in here it's lovely oh hey <laughs> <laughs> we just had to drive off and we saw you in the wing right. there. Tom? Yes. That's, that's it. it. There you go, darling. Oh, right, thank, thank you. you. That was good timing. Another thing we do when we're home, we like get all of our deliveries that we've been holding off for so we can have an address to send them to. Woohoo! Got a new water tank. Next question that we've been asked is how do you manage personal hygiene in between being able to get a shower? We stay on a campsite once a week and we have a shower there, like wash our hair and everything. <laughs> and then in between there'll be maybe baby wipe showers, uh, flannel showers. We've got this pump up shower that you can use uh, outside, but yeah. recently it's not been very appealing. But I'm about to do an upgrade to our shower system. We're actually on our way to collect something that's very important to this upgrade. Why are you being so weird? <laughs> Sorry, just forest. <laughs> so of all places, we're in Pets at Home for our next upgrade to our shower system. Isabel has told me we need to come to Pets at Home to pick up this. I don't even know what it is. She's organised all of this, which always makes me slightly worried. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently we've got a new shower set up, which I'm yeah. excited to see. Right, come on in, here's what you got. Right, so I've, I've decided to get a dog paddling pool. Let's see how big this is, I'm a bit concerned. I got the smallest one. Oh, it's not too bad. That's fine. That's good. Got a shower curtain. And that's going to go around me. We were going to fit the shower curtain now, but we need some little hooks and I can't find anywhere, any of them anywhere. So I think we'll, we'll have to wait. Uh, we'll just have to pick some hooks up at some point. Uh, but that brings us on to our next question, which is what would you change about the van? To be honest, I love our van. I can't, I, I'm so proud of it because we built it ourselves. But I can't think of anything particularly apart from maybe I would have like some nicer cupboards, some more like well-built cupboards with some <gasps> doors. <laughs> Sorry. Build your own cupboards next time. Do you know what I mean? With a little like hatch, that'd be quite nice. I think what I'd do is only have one of these fold up tables and have an L shaped bed that is fixed. Then we'd have storage under this end one and a bit more sofa space just because we have no storage. We have such little storage. Last week, Iz was also saying about uh, having a walkthrough into the front of the van, and a few people suggested we put a hatch here. Uh, just above the hob. We just need to get an angle grinder to cut through the tiles. If you got a new van, would it be bigger or smaller? Smaller. I love the small vans. I'd go for like a little Toyota Hiace or something. I think they're so sweet. What about you? I don't want any less space than this really. Because when it's rainy, living in a little Toyota Hiace would be... Yeah, I know. But I don't want to change it. I'm just saying it. But next time I buy one, it would be smaller. Time for a coffee and a cookie break. Oh, nice. Mm. Is these homemade cookies. Mm. Making the most of having an oven. The next question we have to ask, how do you guys make money? How do you fund your travels? So we actually made a video all about how we make money a couple of months ago. So if you want a more in-depth look, go check that out. But to summarize, we basically make all of our money on YouTube. When you see an advert in our video, we get paid a little bit of money. Some people have given us donations through like buy me a coffee and PayPal. And then lastly, we also make money through sponsorships. One of our long-term sponsors has been Surfshark and they're actually sponsoring today's video as well. If you haven't been watching us for very long, you might not know what Surfshark is. It's a VPN, a virtual private network. This masks your IP address when you're online. What it does is it tricks the internet into thinking you're at a different location to where you actually are. And this is really useful because people like hackers or data farmers won't be able to get your information. So whether you're traveling or you're going to your local library or coffee shop and doing work there, it is a fantastic tool to have. To give you that peace of mind to know that people are on stealing your data. It will also allow you to access things like Netflix in locations other than where you are. While we're here in the UK, we might access Netflix in America to watch programs that are not available here. I'm obsessed with watching New Girl on the American Netflix site. And we genuinely use it 
every day, like all the time. With one account, you can put Surfshark on your computer, your phone, your family's computers, all of that with one account, which is not available with any other VPN. Use the code TRANSIT in the link in the description, you get 83% off and free months for free, and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. It really is win-win. You guys get a great product, Surfshark makes a bit of money, and then we get supported as well. Go use the link try it out we've got some quick fire questions while we're drinking our coffee are we coming back to ireland the short answer is yes if <laughs> things go to plan it could be fairly soon if you could do anything to celebrate your birthday what would you do rent a villa in italy and invite all my friends make a massive party family chill out for a week in the sun favorite podcast my favorite podcast is Eamon and beck's podcast uh, but we've listened to all of them now so we're actually just listening to some of izzy's podcast which i didn't really like as much off so menu off menu that's my favorite and my dad wrote a porno <laughs> yeah what age are you and when did you start living in the van i'm 29 tom's 30 we started living in the van um four years ago i think favorite memory from norway i think watching the midnight sun mm. on the beach i think mine was the same it was on Luf lofoten it was climbing up the rhinenbringen staircase what chicken would you be if you were a chicken i know mine a silky bantam with all the fluffy fluffy white fluff all over me because i am a glamorous Chip. Some people have been asking about how we work different utilities in the van, uh, so we'll quickly run through some of that for you. Gas setup is really simple. We just have a camping gas 907 bottle under the gas hob. The connector on the camping gas is universal throughout the whole of Europe, so no matter what country we go to, we can get the camping gas. Uh, it's not vented or anything, and I'm sure loads of people are going to kick off in the comments. If we explode, we explode. <laughs> We're going to start to see a bit of a theme with our utilities. They're all as simple as they can be, all really basic. So our water setup, we've got fresh water in this one, 25 litres, and grey water in this one, which is 25 litres. But they're just strapped in with ratchet straps and a little electric pump to pump it up, which we turn on from up here. How do we heat our van? Well, we have a diesel heater. This was already in the van when we bought it, and the previous owners told us it used to be a pet grooming business to keep those doggies warm. And we also have electric blankets to keep us warm in bed. Oh, oh, amazing. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Got another parcel. This is something we've been meaning to get for ages. Uh, when we were with our friends Philly and Keely, they, their van actually caught fire and we used our fire extinguisher to put out their van and we haven't had a fire extinguisher since then. So this is our replacement. Um, can we all just appreciate this gorgeous Daco colour on the doors? Absolutely stunning. We thought we'd have this little water container up on the counter top and we were going to put it to the side just next to the cooker area but it doesn't fit with all of this stuff in. I don't actually know how you could take this off. Oh, I need an Allen key. I've got there in the end. We've got our new little area for our, this could be our drinking water. I just need to attach that with some bungee cord or something. And then the rail that was there, I've just moved it over to the door. So it's now just as you come in. Oh, that looks so nice. I think it looks really smart. Oh, I've got my little box of donations. Let's go to the cherry shop. I've got to deal with my hanger management issues. We're getting a pasty in Cornwall. Uh, each pasty shop is like a football team. You've got to support your local one and ours is Malcolm Barnicus. <laughs> We've ordered some moisture caps of beads so we stick in above the cab because that's where it tends to get a little bit damp. So we just stick some of these up there and uh, they seem to do the job. Do you guys ever think about settling down? I think we're not in a rush to settle down and that's partly because we don't have the funds to. We've got a dream that we want to buy a bit of land, yeah. live on our land, build our own house. Uh, but we just can't afford that and we find it a little bit frustrating thinking about that too much because you know that's what we really want to be doing we're honest i do sometimes really crave that base but i really try to think about what are those things that i miss about having a base and i'm really trying to actively incorporate them into the van life also we've made an effort to not isolate ourselves so much this year and we've been really enjoying going and seeing friends and family and incorporating that into our travels
we've had a few questions about what equipment we use to vlog and that is this camera i'm using now with a7s a mavic mini 2 drone and we use a gopro 9 and then we edit all of our stuff on final cut pro thomas do you believe in cornish piskies that's a silly question do you believe in gravity Oh, it's nice to be home. Look at that over Cornwall. Do you want to have kids? And I think we should probably ask Izzy this first. <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> Hell yes! Hell yes, I want kids! Get in my belly! <laughs> so Izzy, Izzy is ready to have kids already. Um, I, I want kids as well. I really want kids. Um, but when you look at it on paper, we are technically unemployed and live in a van. Uh, so I, <laughs> we need a little bit more of a stable income. We would be very keen for traveling with a baby, I think, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, van life baby. Let's see for now. <laughs> we've had lots of people asking if we're going to do another trip like we did going to Nepal. Yeah, I would love to, I'd absolutely love to. We just don't have the money at the moment to go a flight somewhere that far, but I would love to go to New Zealand, Australia. I'd love to go to South America again, Central America. Oh, there's so many places we want to go. Yeah. Hell yeah, we want to go on a big trip. We have literally come up with so many different plans of things we want to do. Uh, yeah, funds are the only issue at the moment, but we were looking at like cycling down the whole west coast of America. Maybe one day we still will do that. Um, we've been looking at catching a ferry out over to Iceland so we can take La Bamba to Iceland with us. Loads of travel plans. We've got so much we want to do. So if that's what we're doing long term, what are we doing in the short term, Isabel? Um, we are going to Europe in a couple of days and then we are going to drive through France for a couple of weeks then spend a month in Italy, a month in Greece and then we're going to spend three months in non-Schengen countries. And then we'll be coming back via the Alps into the UK in time for some weddings that we have mm. to attend in summer um, and then hopefully uh, some time in the UK and into Ireland as well. It's just been so good to spend some time at home, uh, have a little bit of a break from the van see for friends and family. I can't wait to meet my new niece in the next couple of days before we jump on a ferry. By the time you guys are watching this, we will be on a ferry. So next week will be our first video in France. We got to stop filming now because I need to edit this, get it uploaded so you guys can watch it. See you in France guys. Next time we'll see you, we'll be in France. See you in France. You might find some things there. Yeah, what is there? <laughs> Who's been in my clothes stuff? Look at that.